Hi, this is G-Man and today I'm presenting the GS2. The GS2 is a PS2 portable that was made for the Bitbuild 2017 Portable Asset Competition where it was voted first place. I had fun competing in the competition and I would like to thank Bitbuild for hosting it. There were five other finishing entries and they all did a great job too. The GS2 took me around five months to design and was built in under two weeks. Due to co time constraints, I wasn't able to meet all my design goals but I'm happy with the result. The portable was designed using SOLIDWORKS. I wanted the case to be comfortable and with appealing features, so the case had to be printed in six parts and glued together before smoothing and painting it. Here I have an original test print I did. This was done very early on and you can see there's a lot of design changes I made, like the having the staggered analog sticks which I then changed. As you can see, uh, this top piece is printed separately from the from the bracket here as well as this bracket is printed separately from here and the two battery covers on the back are also printed separately. This is my first PS2 portable to feature the heaviest PS2 trimming. Many of the onboard components had to be removed or bypassed from the motherboard in order to fit it in the tight case. Uh, this motherboard was originally in there and then two days before the competition was over, I discovered a minor issue in it and I had to rip it out and put a new motherboard in. The disk drive laser and motor ICs were both removed along with the entire voltage regulator circuitry that had to be replaced with custom voltage regulators. The onboard video encoder had to be cut off, so I used my custom video DAC PCB I designed several months ago. It takes the 24-bit digital RGB from the PS2 and outputs analog VGA for the highest video quality possible to get from the console. I first attempted to design my own voltage regulator board, which I got partially working, but wasn't able to get it 100% before the deadline, so instead I used Texas Instruments voltage regulator modules. I also designed my own controller PCB that uses the original Sony DualShock 2 IC. This minimizes space, so I didn't have to use as many wires as I would if I have modified an existing controller. The GS2 uses buttons from several controllers. The action buttons from a PSP, the D-pad from a PS Vita, the analog sticks from a Bluetooth controller, the start select from a PS2 controller, and the shoulder buttons are 3D printed. One of my favorite features of the GS2 is that it uses two 18650 battery cells that are easily removable. These battery cell cover grips also double as nice grips when you hold it. The portable also features a revised fan heatsink setup that effectively cools the console and provides a seal from fan intake to the exhaust so hot air is not trapped inside the console. There is a headphone jack and volume adjustment on the left side. On the other side are the screen menu controls. Here there are two HDMI connectors for various purposes. I originally intended to build a docking station for extended features, but I was not able to finish it before the deadline. The portable has an internal storage device for holding games. The docking station would allow you to flash games from your computer onto the internal storage. I will demonstrate the portable in gameplay now.
high school. Because you've been dealing drugs, man, since the age of 10. No, that ain't it. Because <laughs> you had put hands on that teacher for wearing baller clothes. <laughs>
Thank you. 